There's no free ride. You can't smash a window. Governor Gavin Newsom signs legislation to further empower the CHP to go after organized retail crime sprees with images like these going viral around the state. We need to hold folks to account, but we'll do it in a thoughtful and judicious way. We're not going back to the way things were in the 80s and 90s, at least not while I'm here. Critics of the governor blame his support for Prop 47, which voters passed in 2014. It reclassified crimes such as shoplifting or grand theft, less than 950 bucks, as misdemeanors instead of felonies. We speak to the governor one-on-one. -on -one. There are some people that say some of the policies championed by Democrats, like Prop 47 and others, are making crime worse. Yeah, the, what do you say to that? Well, the evidence doesn't back it up. The last three decades, we've actually seen a significant decline in uh, crime in the state. You're seeing crime increase in red states that had no criminal justice reform. The, particularly the gun violence. The governor in Long Beach on this day to meet with mayors and law enforcement officials from the 13 biggest cities in California, both in person and virtually. LAPD Chief Michael Moore on hand. We see this as this uh, increase in violence is yet another part of, uh, of the outgrowth of this pandemic. There you go. There you go. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia introducing the governor to local business owners impacted by the pandemic, including the Portfolio Coffee House. So don't forget about us. We're still right. here. What's your message to, to business owners who say that they're, they're hurting? Because many are, and that's why we put up $4 billion, $4.2 billion, and not loans, grants, direct grants, and we're still encouraging people to apply for those grant programs. In Long Beach right now, everyone inside is required to wear a mask regardless of vaccination status due to an increase in the Delta variant. Right now in California, about 63% of the state has received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, meaning about 40% hasn't. You have done so much, traveled the state, offered millions of dollars, offered so many giveaways, and yet there are still millions of Californians who are saying, no, I don't want it. How do you get through to those people? And if those people still refuse, how do you do public policy acknowledging that maybe they're never going to take it? Well, we got to meet people where they are. We are trying to combat the misinformation on these right-wing shows, these right-wing pundits that are simply ideological about this. He says if more people got vaccinated, the tide would turn quickly. In a month or so, this could substantially, at least in California, be behind us.